Hello YouTube, this is Krosama, and here I have for you today is going to be the pose video for the Gabaldi Rebake. Um, so ultimately, um, this is a very bulky kit, so I'm trying to get as stylized uh, as possible when it comes to uh, the poses for this kit. Um, so we're going to go ahead and just experiment, try out some different things, and I kind of want to just like maybe use each of its weapons once. So maybe like the giant hammer once, uh, use the... Um, I don't know what it, what it was called the uh, like the motor mo mortar uh, on its back once, and then maybe that little knuckle uh, attack. You know, use that all once. So just try and give everything a fair balance. Uh, but ultimately, we're just gonna go ahead and go through some poses. So let's go ahead and take a look at the first pose. Alright, so the pose I was going for was essentially the Gabaldi Rebake. It's about to just slam down that hammer right on its victim. Uh, so, this pose is just not going to happen unless you have a stand to kind of assist it. Uh, so, I decided to go ahead and use a stand uh, just to keep the balance all good. Uh, because those ankles are just atrocious. They don't they don't really bend uh, very well to, uh, to where you can really pull off some good poses. They just kind of like are fixated in, you know, the one fixed pose. Have a little bit of side to side movement, but it does nothing to really go ahead and like either widen out the stance of this mobile suit or really do any kind of justice when it comes to poses. The other kind of, I would say gripe I really have is going to be these elbow joints. Uh, there's two connecting points in these elbows, um, well two parts in particular, and they just not, they don't want to stay together at all. Um, so it's a little bit annoying. Uh, you can really work around it and you know definitely mod it. I mean anything on this kit can be modded. So if you want to go ahead and tighten up those joints and make sure they're not loose, um, you can definitely glue at the bottom of it, not at the actual uh, peg, you know the peg joint that you know makes it rotate, but at the bottom where it connects uh, into the forearm. You can definitely glue that, and that should give it more security. To be honest. Um, other than the the ankles, you might have to extend them to where they can have more mobility, but uh, to be honest, I'm not really sure how you can do that. Uh, I know it's possible, absolutely, but um, I don't have an exact method for you at this time. Um, but really, uh, the, the basis on getting this pose pretty accurate, or actually like, pretty good, um, just wide out the stands, uh, get a stand underneath them, as well as pop out those shoulders. Um, it can really hold the uh, the giant, you know, hammer pretty well. So there's not going to be any issues with that. You could definitely kind of, you know, edit this pose however you want. Um, but I think this kind of pulls off exactly what I was, you know, going for. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get into the second pose. All right, and here is the second pose. Uh, so essentially what I want to go ahead and utilize is that knuckle. Um, I think it looks pretty cool. I think overall just it, it looks fantastic. So I'm kind of imagining him, you know, dashing towards an enemy and he's about to just go ahead and just knock the head right off. Um, I, I, that's just kind of like my idea of it. It looks pretty good. I, I don't think it looks too, too bad. And I, if I had a little more time, I think I, I could have figured out a, a better pose overall. Um, but when it comes to like my imagination, I kind of just wanted to go ahead and use something I would think uh, like, as far as melee attacks would have been used in like maybe JoJo's Bizarre Adventure. It's kind of like my inspiration in some sense. Um, but the problems I have is definitely going to be those shoulders. The elbow joints kind of play a factor once again. Um, the weight is always going to be a factor, so I had to put it back on a stand. And the legs... Um, Generally, they're so big, you, I can't really find the sweet spot when it comes to like you know posing them dynamically because the the feet don't really want to point out. They kind of just like lay flat. Um, they don't roll or anything. So I I don't know. Just the legs sometimes you know get a bit get a little bit on my nerves. Um, other than that, I can definitely get it into a decent pose, such as you see here. 
Uh, also, don't even get me started on that waist joint, that little poly cap. It is super, super loose. Uh, the waist, I mean, the uh, basically the torso that connects to the waist almost never wants to go ahead and stay put. So um, you're probably gonna have to reinforce that little, you know, poly cap joint. Uh, maybe just kind of coating it with some, um, you know. I don't know if you want to go ahead and use some glue, you know, paint it with some glue, uh, or you can go ahead and use maybe some uh, nail, uh, fingernail polish. That might toughen it up and then go ahead and utilize it uh, to where it's not popping out all the time, but that's really up to you. Other than that, I think this pose is pretty decent. So let's go ahead and move on to the third and final pose. Alright guys, and here is the last pose. Well, I was going to use the uh, the giant cannon on his back, but I decided to go ahead and just give the giant like hammer one more try. And I was I was kind of like confused on whether I should do like the scissor, you know, the scissor type pose, or if I should just go ahead and do something a little bit different. So I decided to just go with this one. Uh, I already did like the strike pose freedom uh, in the review, so I couldn't go with that. But I think this is pretty nice. Um, it's not really too, too difficult. You just really need to get the hands in the right spot. Uh, the torso needs to be, you know, pretty much, you know, pretty tight. And uh, you gotta get the, the feet work. The feet work is probably gonna be the most important part about this um, if you do not want to use a stand. But using a stand is definitely gonna make your life a little bit easier. Um, because you also got to balance the cannon on its back. Like you got, you got to do a lot of balancing with this thing. Uh, but I think overall it does look fine. I don't see any kind of issues. Uh, so guys, definitely let me know in the comments below what you think of these poses. Uh, are any of these some of the ones that you have on your shelf? If not, uh, definitely let me, you know, kind of describe to me what kind of pose do you, uh, you have your kid in. Uh, but if you do like any of these poses, definitely let me know which one is going to be your favorite. And if you're going to go ahead and pose your um, Gabaldi rebake in any of these poses. Uh, but other than that, that's all for me, guys. Definitely thank you for watching, as always. And uh, definitely stay tuned because there's going to be a really awesome review coming up. And there's going to be another pose video this week. So uh, just definitely stay tuned for those. Ring the bell for notifications. So that way you don't miss any of these videos. Videos, and I will be seeing you in the next video. Bye-bye guys